wir sind zurück. Folge Nummer 2 von Welcome To. Und heute besuchen wir unseren Spieler mit den meisten Penny DL Spielen. Und es ist kein anderer als die Nummer 6, Daryl Boyle. So, auf geht's. So thanks for having us for the second episode of uh, Welcome To. We have to ask, can we maybe have a little tour through the apartment oh, yeah. to see how you guys live in Munich? Yeah, yeah, of course. You want to show them your room, Bree? Let's show them your room, honey. Let's <laughs> check it out. That that's, that's a cool poster. Yeah. That's, who, who is that? Daddy, I love it. Oh, thank you. Wow. That's really cool. Do you play a floor hockey on it or is it more for cars? Or we have a bigger doing? net, so we have to usually take that to the living room, but he okay. plays with his cars and stuff okay. on here. And yeah. Does he already skate a bit and, and he's a, on the ice? A little bit, yeah. He's getting getting better. Just a standard room. Yeah. That's some whales here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he's got the picture with the... Cool, that's pictures. really cool. Yeah. Are you already uh, recognize differences between the two, like uh, character-wise, or, or are yeah. they? Very much. <laughs> yeah. He's very energetic. Uh -huh. I think he takes after me. Yeah. And he's very calm. Ah, okay. And I think might be Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, either we have some hockey going on in here or soccer. Um, Bray's doing like his playtime on the mat, or we'll put him in there to let him jump for a little bit. But this is just yeah, like our pretty yeah. much our. The room that we do everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you said that he's speaking a little bit German or he learns it a bit mm -hmm. too in the kindergarten? Yeah. His teachers say that he understands what they're saying and he'll speak back to them, but he won't speak Deutsch to yeah. us. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, and what's about your German? Yeah. Juan and Daryl. Do, yeah. do, do you speak for like. A, do you, just, you understand at least a lot. That, yeah. That's like what I, I can know. understand it yeah. definitely better than I can speak it. And like when he speaks it and stuff i like to speak german with him as best as i can okay uh, and do you have a, a pre-game meal ritual like ben for example eats salmon and rice yeah. what we heard and uh mine standard i i stick to just you know chicken pasta okay you know, i grew up with that and i've done that my whole career yeah. so i i don't really stray from that okay so and any any easy. naps naps before the oh, game yeah. Okay. oh yeah big <laughs> big nap guy love my nap <laughs> okay okay so daryl mm -hmm. is there any favorite what's your favorite meal uh big meatloaf hey yeah. would you yeah. say meatloaf mashed potatoes mm -hmm. um you know i like a good steak you know growing up in in well i grew up in bc but we live in alberta and alberta is known for their steaks so yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd say meatloaf is pretty good. That's Are you good. guys from the same area or wh mm. where did you guys meet? You can, if you want, <laughs> it's kind of an interesting story. Long story short, <laughs> we've known each other since we were like little kids, like five, no, you're probably like seven yeah. years old and I'm older than him. But I went to school with his brother. He moved away to Alberta to pursue hockey, mm -hmm. and I stayed back in Sparwood. Just years down the road, um, we kind of reconnected again. Just I was at a spin class, and he was happened to be at that same spin class. hadn't seen him in years, and then we started talking. And then he invited me out for a breakfast date, and then that's the history. And how is it to be in a relationship or to be married with a hockey player? Like, what, what are the, the ups and downs, maybe? Uh, the ups are we do, like, it's an adventure. There's always something fun going on. We're always surrounded by, like, a great group of friends. Um, it's just we're away from family. And that can be hard, but at the same time, we encourage them to come visit us mm -hmm. if they can and our friends and family, and, and they do. Um, but we know this is just, like, a really short part of our life so we try to like soak it up as much as we mm -hmm. can so maybe we can sit yeah. down mm -hmm. and then i have plenty of questions so duan and daryl you are in germany since uh, since 2011 already um can you maybe explain us how the switch to germany came about and um, was it a decision from both of you or how was it that you came to germany yeah i played uh three years in north america and i think it was just after that third year um things weren't going well i knew i had to change change directions and then yeah i looked over over to germany and see what options i had and that's pretty much what, how it came about okay then next step is um you got the german citizenship um mm -hmm. 
is was that like was that a decision only for hockey or was that something you felt might be a natural step to to get for the yeah. organization and for everything what was the what was the idea the my mom's side of the family is german it came to to my attention that i would be eligible for that so it yeah it helped me um get my foot in the door i guess you can say in in uh germany so yeah that was just some one of the main reasons why we did that and yeah i i think it it opened my, the door to be able to play for the national team and and things like that which i never would have thought but obviously i'm super proud of and you know it was an awesome awesome experience for me Well, do you have the citizenship as well, the German then, or is no, it? No, I'm the only one. <laughs> I'm, you know, I just have Canadian. They're all boys are dual. Yeah. Yeah. But mm -hmm. do you, for yourself, do you sometimes recognize when you go back to Canada that you have some behavior that you maybe always? <laughs> like, always. I'm always like, Dankeschön. Yeah. Und always. <laughs> and I'm like, oh always. wait, wrong country. Yeah. <laughs> um, and next, I have something here for you. I can't do it as a present, but I want to have you a look on it. Like, please have a look in that bag. Mm -hmm. okay. Have a look at what's inside there and tell me something about the, it. Is the, from the Olympics or? <laughs> bring it out. Bring it out. <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah, that's from the Olympics. So, yeah, well, obviously, I think everyone knows how that went. The highlight of my career, uh, that and the championships with Munich and Yeah, that was an unbelievable experience, and Duan and, and my parents got to be there for it, the whole ride. I loved it. Where do you store your silver medal? Where is that? Uh, that's in a safe. Yeah. Everyone's in a safe in yeah. Canada, but you have a replica yeah. bedside table. Yeah. Oh, maybe we can look at that. Yeah, the I think it's here. This is a replica, but like, it's good, but it doesn't do justice to like the real thing, that's for sure. What is Daryl like when he's coming home from a loss? Like, is he grumpy? <laughs> is he quiet? <laughs> <laughs> he's always just like a really even keel energy. Like, I get frustrated for sure, like everyone does, but I just don't want, I try not to bring it home. Just quite recently, you have the most played DL games for our club. Uh, <laughs> does that bring any special responsibilities? Like, do you raise your voice sometimes in the locker room or...? <laughs> like, I think just being here and, you know, being an older guy, I like to, you know, be, uh, try and be more vocal. I'm not yelling at guys like, you know, do this, do that. That's not who I am. As the last thing before we end, like our great chat here so I would love to ask you some fan questions how was school how was sterile in school I was okay <laughs> I, I got by what do you miss most about Canada and what's your favorite thing about Germany friends and family yeah. I would say I love the way of life over here just mm -hmm. like there's a lot of going to cafes and just mm -hmm. sitting and people watching and drinking coffee and visiting where I find you don't really do that back home should the kids play hockey later on in life I I would love it if they did, um, but if they want to pursue something else, you know, I look forward to that too. How old have you been before you stopped playing video games? I probably would still be playing, but once you have the kids, it's tough and you don't have the time to play. Okay. Then we have a guy named John Blum7 um, who's asking, <laughs> how does it feel to have the title Mr. Munich? It's, it's a great honor. I'm pretty... Uh, blessed and happy to be a part of this team. Would you join another club, a different club in the DL? I don't want to. <laughs> so um, if I could stay here, I would stay here. Is there a place around the apartment that we maybe can go for a quick hike or that you can show us? Yeah, yeah. we just have a beautiful little park across the street yeah. that we always take cool. the kids to so we can get dressed and head out. We can go for a yeah. walk. Yeah, so, okay. cool. Sounds good. So Dwan and Daryl, maybe you can tell us, where, where are we right now? Well, we're at uh, Leopold Park. Um, you can see behind us is the wonderful tobogganing sledding hill, but it's a little bit muddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so no sledding today. And this is just a place that we come and we walk and there's 
several different little spiel plots. There's yeah, basketball, um, swimming pool, outdoor swimming pool in the summer. Cool. Mm -hmm. It's great. Is there any team that you prefer to play? The atmosphere during the derby games is is something else, you know, playing against Augsburg. Maybe not so much this year, but the years past, you know, that that semifinal that we played against, and I still remember that. That was yeah. crazy. Thank you for joining us on the second episode of Welcome to the Boils. See you guys at the rink. Dankeschön. Dankeschön.